Boo. Hey everybody, it's your boy Ken, and this time around we're going to be cracking open a Japanese booster box. Yes, the first of my channel. We're going to be cracking open a Jet Black Geist, or Jet Black Spirit, depending on your neck of the woods. Alright, so I've been meaning to open up some Japanese product on my channel for quite some time now, considering it means I have more product to open and upload on my channel. And you really can't beat the quality uh, the Japanese sets have to offer. Alright, so Matchless Fighter, Jet Black Geist slash Spirit. And Silver Lance, which I have off here to my right, which I will be doing a video on as well, is going to be making up, I believe, all of the next uh, North American TCG set, uh, Chilling Rain, which is coming out in June. Uh, these came out uh, in April uh, a couple weeks back. It's just that I just got them. It, it just so happens that Japan is located in the opposite side of the Milky Way, so it, it's going to take some time to, well, arrive in my hands. Alright, so the same way Battle Styles featured a DLC Pokemon, legendary that is, uh, so does uh, these packs, uh, uh, these sets rather. They have the uh, Calyrex, the Spectreer, and the Glastrier um, legendary DLC Pokemon. Um, also, if you're not familiar with Japanese sets, uh, they usually have less cards per pack. It's uh, usually about five for the main sets. Uh, and also have less packs, but they usually go for much less. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's dig in. Alright, before we dive in, I just want to take a moment to appreciate how Japan does their boxing, their detailing, and their marketing. It really kicks the North America's boxes in the butt in the keister. Uh, there's so much labeling and, like, details and different advertisements that go into these boxes. It's reminiscent like of a NASCAR. And then down here in the bottom it says, uh, for sale in Japan only. Uh, which, uh, which is fine with me because I have a VPN actually, and as far as Game Freak knows, I'm in Kyoto at the moment. Alright, enough of me rambling on like an idiot. Let's dive into our first pack here. Sweet. And yeah, the packs, the actual packaging and the plastic of the pack are like, very different compared to normal TCG uh, packs here. So, I believe it is once from the back to the front. And then we're going to have the rare there. And we have, okay, we got a, an orb of sorts. You got a little love this. We have a little ribbon. No, cutie fly. Uh, we have a little, oh, nice. Got a Grookey. And apparently, they're still incorporating the, the same mechanic that Battle Styles had. The Regeki and the... Ishigiki, I think it's called. Whatever, the single strike and rapid strike. And then we have... Okay, all right, starting off hot with... <laughs> uh, Arctivish V, if I'm not mistaken. That's dope. It's also, like, one of the most confusing Pokemon, considering the mouth is, like, nowhere to be found here. The mouth is actually right here on the very top. Nice. All right, so like I said, Chilling Rains is made up of a bunch of other sets, which means that the other sets are going to be quite small in comparison. So, expect a lot of duplicates immediately. Right. We have... And also, it's actually very hard to gauge the prices for these cards, uh, considering there really isn't a whole lot to go off of. I'll try my best to have somewhat of an accurate or a guesstimate of what, uh, what the chase cards are. So here we have a Malamore. That looks pretty cool, actually. We have a Blitzel. We have a C-Dot. We have a, uh, what is that, Fletchner, and then we have, okay, back-to-back -back hitters. We have the Calrex Shadow Rider, I think that's what it's called, because the horse is the uh, Spectrier, and then we have the, uh, Jesus Christ, the Mega Mind uh, Rabbit thing. I think, I think it is uh, Cal Calrex uh, Shadow Rider, something like that. But yeah, another V. Back-to-back -back hits, I'll, I'm a fan. And also, if you haven't noticed, no energies. Um, cool with me. <laughs> Not a huge fan of all my cards having, uh, all my packs having energies, especially if some of my damn error packs include, like, three energies, which is uh, a ball buster. Speaking of which, uh, we have the Galarian Weezing, we have another Cutie Fly, we have a Marie, uh, we have a, ooh, wow, nice. A little, a knitting, uh, cast form. Gotta love that. And then we have, okay, well. 
Uh, some sort of energy, I would assume. An apparition of a sort. Um, cool. And also, I just want to point out that the, uh, the sets here, if you haven't noticed, they have little rip tabs. Make it a lot easier for me and whatever uh, small Asian boys' hands can get their hands on. So, hey man. Nintendo over there in Japan really knows what they're doing. Alright, so we got that uh, orb. We got another another orb. We got a ghastly. We have a flaffy. We have a, what is that, the rain cast form. That's cool. In my opinion, cast form doesn't get enough love, which is nice to see here. And then we have, ooh, a hollow. That is Squovit. That is, no, that is Greedent. Either way, I don't care much for these Pokemon. It's hollow, though. Cool. Next up, what do we have? Oi. What do we have? We have a colorless special energy. Cool. Oh my gosh, that is, hold up. That is Adorbs. A Clavopus by, uh, I want to say Yuka. Mori, my girl, I love these. Jeez, Alu. I mean, this Pokemon, like, I really don't care too much about, but the whole aesthetic and the whole, like, artwork, I'm a fan. The Galette, what the hell? Is that Galette going to town on an Onyx? Okay, all right. Okay, cool. We got a, we have Onyx's Fluffer there. That's awesome. We have a, a Letty Paw, and then we have, ooh, that's a, that's a vicious looking Zepstrika. Cool. I'd like to have that as a hollow. All right, next up. And yeah, like I said, I don't know the prices, therefore I really haven't looked at the card lists. I want to get surprised. Uh, I kind of have an idea of what to expect just based off the, the boxes, artworks, and all that. But other than that, like, I don't know exactly is it, what's in here. We have a Zebstrika, we have a Blitzel, we have a, ooh, a Coffin, we have a, ooh, there it is, a Ribbon Bee. Then we have, oh, okay, holy Jesus Christ, what in the world, that looks amazing. Metagross VMAX, that looks clean, dude, look at the, look at the edges on that motherfucker, Christ, look at the vertex, look at the, look at the crevices, Jesus, woo, god damn. Talk about an edgelord. Hell yeah. Yo. So far, I'm a fan. Holy crap. Hey, come on, please. Easy. Easy does it. Easy does it. Cooperate. Cooperation is key. Come on. Like I said, I am a fan. Don't let turn me away now. Alright, what do we have? Oh, we have a normal uh Blame Jane uh Wheezing. We have another uh, drop of water. We have a Mareep. We have another Cobblepuss. And then, what the hell? Scroll, huh? The, uh, the secret scroll. I, that, it's a scroll. Like, come on. Enough of that. I think it's worth something, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go. And I'm assuming it's quite easy to weigh these packs, considering it's only five cards and... No, sir. Code card, obviously. And I'm pretty sure there's a heavy distinction between uh, normal cards, like this dude right here. Who the hell is this guy? Looks like he's on his phone with his billionaire dad. Good for you. And like I was saying, yeah, there has to be a distinction or a huge discrepancy in the weight between the card like this and like that Metagross has just pulled. I, it, it's only logical, no? We have a Crabominable, we'll get a nice stretch out. Uh, we have a Cutie Fly, we have, ooh, a Fletchling, and then we have, oh, that looks awesome, an Ampharos. Sweet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What do we have now? And yeah, forgive me, I don't really know a lot of the trainers from Galar. I really never play the games, per se. I mean, I know the Pokemon, just don't know the trainers. There's really aren't, there really aren't any trainers that catch my attention. Sumi. We have a Talon Flame. We have a Garuki going to town on the stump. Okay. We have, uh, I forgot your name already. I said your name already. Ribbon B. There you go. We have a Love Disc. And then we have, holy shit, another VMAX. And that's, wow. These are VMAXs I actually like. The little time traveling onion. It's all grown up now. About time. Get it. Get it. 
So yeah, there is texturing on these cards. I'm just going to rub your eye there for uh, research's sake. Um, it's just that the texturing on these cards are uh, much more subtle than the ones in the uh, English sets. Alright, next pack. Uh, hopefully we get a secret. Uh, I don't know if a secret is guaranteed. Um, that'd be cool to get one. Or maybe an alternate art. I know there's... I don't know if it's in this set or the Silver Lance, but I know there's a Santa Conda that's just chilling in the living room, which I kind of like, actually. I think that's the only card, the only alternate art that I know of in the set. Hopefully we pull it. Uh, we've got a Wheezy, we've got a C Dot, we have... Ooh, an NK, nice! Now, every time you see an NK, the artwork is just like a little rambunctious little fuck causing uh, mayhem. We have a Kecleon upside down, and then we have... Got a, got a Force. And also, I want to point out that the rarities are also different. The way they go about their rarities, uh, I'll show you now. Um, hold on. What do we have here? Oh, we got a nice uh, another colorless energy. We have uh, Sneasel running amok, giving uh, Obama Snow a headache. Come on, uh, we got a Fletchender. We have ooh, a Sableye, the little gem thief. And we have oh, okay. <laughs> The uh, the most distinguished of uh, Weezings, the Galarian one. Great. All right, next up. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Let's see here. Ooh, oh, we have uh, that is Agatha. Yes, from the Elite Four. Cool. I know her. We got a Side Dog. We got a Flaffy. We have another Kecleon hanging upside down. And then we have Ooh Rillaboom Hollow. Mad Monkey Man, mashing the drum set. He do be beaten though. Up next, what do we have? Wait. Okay, we got another Malamore. We got a Cedar. We got ooh a Time. Tim, is it Timpo or Timepo? I never know. We got a Golette. Um, uh, doing something. We have oh wow, nice. That looks awesome. Get the Gengar. Um, the artwork was on the side of the box there. That looks dope. Jesus Christ. And he's doing a service to the community, apparently. He's cleaning up the staircases. Right on. Okay. Let's go. Moving on. Ugh. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually very hard to come across an error pack as far as the uh, Japanese sets go. Uh, we have a Seismitoad, we have a, oh nice, we got a, that is Palpitoad, uh, we have a Fletchling, no, yeah, Fletchling, Ghastly, and we have, man, mmm, who are you? Mmm, don't know, is she a four in this set, maybe? Probably. So yeah, leave down in the comments below how much of an idiot I am, and how easy these names are to remember, and whatever names I'm forgetting and all that. Please, I enjoy reading... <laughs> <laughs> Any roastings on my behalf. Oh, Jesus Christ. We have some Power Ranger gloves. Okay, we have the uh, gas form. We got a Ledian, first one of those. We got a Squovet. Nice. And then we have. Oh, wow. You're in here? Interesting. See, <laughs> you're in. Get it? Huh. But seriously, what are you doing here? Z I, this is Zerara? Zerara? But yeah, this, this is like a. Not a legendary. This is a mythical Pokemon that just came out not too long ago within the uh, in Alola. So price is getting th this much love this quickly. Cool. Another V. Moving on. It's back. Oy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, what is this? Nuzleaf? We got a Temple. Got another Blitzel. That, I, I don't notice. That's a very bleak looking picture. Like, this Blitzel is done for. And I don't want to, I don't, I don't know if it's like, you know, climate change and all that jazz, but man, you better get yourself a, better get yourself a Pikachu that knows how to surf and get your ass out of there. Otherwise, you are in trouble. We have, ooh, nice. We got a Weavile Hollow. Cool. So yeah, that whole, uh, rarity thing I wanted to address, you can actually address it right here. There is, a uh, common, uncommon, rare, I guess, double R, which is really rare, and then triple R, which is really, really rare, 
SR, which is secret rare, and then HR, I guess, is hyper rare. And if uh, my camera just went perfect right there. Um, so I guess C is common, and which is just whatever common cards, and then uncommon and the rare. Uh, you're not guaranteed a rare in the set at all per pack, uh, which would be this card. This is a rare. Uh, the rare rare would be a V card like such. Then a triple rare would probably be the V max cards, and then the secret rare is a secret rare, and then the hyper rare is just. A secret rare, but with the whole coloring foiling going across it. Uh, but yeah, it's very nice that a Jap Japanese sets do that. I don't think the North American do uh, have a little chart like that to explain it. We have, we have more gloves. We have another cash form. Sableye. Ooh, and a Morga. Very underrated Pokemon, in my opinion. And we have, ooh, a th <laughs> Thwacky. Christ. All right, I want to see we're halfway done with the box. Ay. Yeah, right, I did it right, yeah, I did it right, yeah, 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 nope. Um, Jesus Christ, uh, oh, man, God, I don't know who that is. NK, we got a Ladybug, we got a Cash Form, and they have, oh, wow, a, a favorite of mine, actually, Golurk. Cool. Next back. Come on, can we get an alternate art? We have, ooh, oh my. Got a Seismic Toad, we got a UR Crub Brawler. Yes, we have a Squovet, we have a Weavile, and then we have another V. Cool, Blissey. The whole Chansey Blissey uh, line getting some love. It's only fitting this thing is literally just existing just to give love, and then we give it back. That's how it works. Nice. Moving on. What do we have? Okay, I know you, you're Agatha, uh, Gilf Material, we have a uh, Sneevil, we have a uh, Sneasel, excuse me, we have a Grookey, we have a Kecleon, and then we have, oh wow, Dang, I haven't seen this Pokemon in a while, uh, the Cresselia, another favorite of mine too, I, it's just a shame it doesn't really see any spotlight, but yeah, this is like the, the yin and the yang, this is the yin to Dark Rise yang, in my opinion, uh, but enough of that, uh, moving on. Okay, let's get an alternate or, or a secret or something we haven't gotten yet, at least. Okay, we got a Thwanky, we have a Nuzleaf, just chilling, just doing a little recon. We got a Crabrawler, we got a Psyduck chilling, and then we have. Oh man, wow, dude, this set is actually proven to be very dope, in my opinion. Holy crap. Cobalion. Is it Cobalion or Cobalion? Whatever it is, I, I'm actually a huge fan of the. Uh, what is it? The Justice Trio? The Terrakion and uh, Virizion. Terrakion being my favorite, but uh, I like this uh, Metal Pooch too. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, now. We got a uh, Ampharos. We have a we uh, Coughing. We have a Clavopus. Moga. And then we have. Oh, you are from the Unova Elite Four. You're that chick that's sleeping. I forgot her name. She's like the psychic type the trainer. I forgot her name, dude. <sighs> Damn. Cue some Gen 5 music, please. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Damn. I can't believe I forgot her name. Whatever. Who cares? Not me. Not this guy right here. We have a Shifty. <laughs> we have a Sita. We have a Side Duck. We have an Amoga. And then we. God, Jesus Christ. More Gen 5 music, please. I wonder if any of those trainers do come as full arts. We don't. We have. Who? What the? What the hell is this? Is, are these, is this the Power Glove from Nintendo? Is Nintendo gotten full on meta here? We have a Probominable, we have a Love Disc, we have a Ghastly, and then we have a Gold Dog. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Wonderful. Jesus Christ. I know it's 30 packs, but it feels like 60. My gosh. And there's only five cards per pack, too. My Christ. 
Okay, we have the uh, forbidden uh, rolls of toilet paper. We have a fletchling. We have a brawler. We have a ribbon bee, and then we have a shift tree. Moving on. Oh, whoops! Almost desecrated, completely destroyed those cards there. My bad. And I'm. Oh my gosh, I'm still. Come on, work with me, please. I swear these packs should come with an instruction instruction manual. Okay, we have uh, some apparition floating about. We have a ladybug. We have a sneasel. We have a fletchling, and then we have another oh, well, a weevil. Cool, another hollow. All right, home stretch. Come on, give us something we haven't seen yet. It was that a uh, hyper rare. Hmm. We have a seismitoad. We have a palpitoad. We have an inke. We have a mareep, and then we have oh, yep. There it is, an alternate art. Damn, that looks badass. That is the uh, Calrex uh, Shadow Rider, right? I think I think it is Shadow Rider. But I know this is definitely the alternate art. Wow, that looks amazing. And look, a little squove at all, just like me. Jeez. And ants. Oh boy, that looks awesome. Yeah, it's also textured. Yeah, the centering. Looks amazing, like you like centering, uh, borders, edges, and all that. This is gonna be pristine, just about with every single uh, Japanese card. That looks amazing. It looks oh, that's awesome. Good pickup. Okay, all right, not bad. That was awesome. I mean, I didn't expect that alternate art. I'm not gonna lie, but that looks amazing. Okay, we have a Talon Flame, we have a Ladybug, we have a Temple, we have a Squovet, and then we have, ooh, another, what in the world are you, oh, you're the Grablox, the Evolved Form, I have a hard, I actually had a hard time look, <laughs> deciphering uh, what I was looking at, yeah, this is a Grablox, the Evolved Form of, uh, the other, Clavopus, Jesus Christ, cool, alright, two packs left, what do we have, I don't know, is there anything else we can get? I think we're just about dried up as far as hits go, no? We have a uh, forest of sorts, we have a uh, Sableye, we have a uh, uh, no, Lydian, we have Coughing, and then we have, ooh, a first Haunter. Cool. Last pack. I mean, what, is there any possible way of getting another hit? Like above maybe a, an Ultra maybe? Or a Rare, I should say? Let's see. Okay, well, <laughs> Haunter again, we got a Kecleon, we got a Golet, we have a Nuzleaf, and then we have that, God, Jesus Christ, that Force. I'm assuming it's like a Haunted Force of sorts or something. But yeah, Force nonetheless. Jesus Christ, look at all these little rip tabs. It looks like I have Booster Box confetti. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out your boy. I'm in dire need of YouTube points. I think that's what they're called. Uh, and yeah, please let me know down below, give me a suggestion, what do you want me to open up, I'm game for anything, really. Uh, and yeah, uh, stick around the next couple of days, uh, we'll be, uh, putting out a video with this sucker. But uh, until then, I'm Ken, take it easy, see ya, peace.